And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. This is Keith again, and we're going to talk about AMD Vega for just a little bit. Now, AMD may not be revealing details of their gaming-focused Radeon RX Vega graphics card, but the manufacturers have revealed some very interesting tidbits about the upcoming cards. The Radeon RX Vega is known to feature the Vega 10 GPU and HBM2 memory, but it looks like it's also going to be featuring a very high power consumption. The title is exactly what the MSI represents who confirmed as a marketing director has stated. The technical insight of Radeon RX Vega was posted over at Tweakers forums via video cards. The marketing director had the following to say at the site, which doesn't go in favor of AMD's upcoming enthusiast graphics card. He states, I've seen the specs of RX Vega. It needs a damn lot of power. We're working on it, which is a start, so launch is coming closer. First of all, this information is coming from an AIB partner that's confirming that AMD has started seeding samples to custom board makers. AMD will be offering a wave of reference-based Radeon RX Vega cards at launch, but hopes to introduce custom cards after a while through their board partners. The reason for the latter featuring a higher TDP is because it will be maintaining a higher clock rates for longer periods of time compared to the air-cooled variant. Hence, the board will require extra wattage to be pumped to the card for a longer duration compared to an air-cooled version. So we're looking at the water-cooled version probably taking a little bit more, but with leakage and seeing how AMD drops power usage based on cooling, there, there's, we're going to have to wait and see this one out. Now, the air-cooled one is clocked at 1600 MHz, just like the liquid-cooled variant, but will feature optimized clock operations. So we're likely going to see a clock variant similar to what we saw with the Radeon RX 480 so a little bit of a fluctuation where you have a peak and a base and it'll be somewhere in between now in theory the Radeon RX Vega featuring a higher TDP may not sound great for the upcoming flagship uh, from AMD RTG but it does make sense so it's not all bad but the latest information that's coming from Bits and Chips, who have historically been accurate with most of their rumors, the latest series of tweets that claim Vega will have excellent pricing and performance, and that will be superb even if it does draw a bit more power. Now, the following the specific tweet, Vega will have a terrific price-to-performance ratio according to their sources. So, that, I mean, that, that's what we're going on there for that one. He did have uh, some more tweets. If you'd like to see the rest of those, hit the link in the description below or above if you're on Facebook. Now, this does sound really good for those who have been waiting for Vega. So long as it seems like RX Vega cards will be targeting multiple price points, AMD has already released two Vega GPUs for the Mac Pro series that include the full 64 NCUs and a cut-down 56 CU variant. Now, these come with a number of cores as the Radeon R9 Fury series, as 4096 and 38 or 3540 3584 respectively but vega delivers more performance throughput and has increased clocks so vega could introduce several architectural upgrades such as hbc and rapid pack math which could accelerate gaming at performance as they've demonstrated in se several months ago not all good but not all bad so vega is going to be an interesting launch and we'll get more details as we get closer to the launch and well all of the details once it does launch so stay tuned here at wccf tech tv and we'll bring you as much as we can as fast as we can and we will see you in the next video.